Hello, this is Julian Lodge, and I'm here to share with you a lesson about resonance on the acoustic guitar. Now, resonance is kind of the broader subject, but within that is tone production, volume, um, tension, all these factors that we all know are part of playing any guitar, really. Um, over the years, when I've tried to get a bigger sound or play louder, I often find myself tightening up or squeezing or holding my breath and though the result might be a more strident or punctuated sound it's not always the the warmest it's not always the most resonant years ago i had the privilege of studying with a wonderful teacher named debbie adams teacher of the alexander technique and a masterful piano player and teacher and we worked on this notion that there could be such thing as a reset chord now, I hesitate to say reset because I think ideally when we're playing the guitar, we're not in any set, we're not postured, we're not fixed. But for the sake of argument, we'll say this is, you know, a kind of a pursuit of something that lets us drop the tension, start over. Maybe you could more accurately say recalibrate uh, your relationship to the instrument and therefore creating a more resonant sound. Simply put, here's how it goes. You take a chord that you feel resonates well on the guitar. For, for me, I'll take this. Um, I've got A, D, A, D, A. And there's some open strings and there's some fretted notes and that's kind of what uh, creates the perfect cocktail of resonance on this guitar. Now, the second thing we do is we ask ourselves what are the points of contact we have with the instrument? Now, I remember the first time I entertained this, I thought, well, my hands, period. That's, that's what's touching it. Uh, and though that's true, if you look a little further, you realize that in addition to the left hand and the right hand, which is making contact at the point of um, playing or strumming, there's also the contact with my chest, the guitar. There's the contact of the guitar on my leg. And there's the contact of my right arm on the guitar. So we have one, two, three, four, five points of contact alone. Now, an interesting side note about this is that bone is, a, is an incredible conductor of sound. I don't know if you've ever done this, but if you put a tuning fork on your tooth, your entire head and system will vibrate in that pitch. And it's, a, it's kind of alarming, but it, it, it proves the point. Uh, so even though these are the five points of contact, sound will transfer through these points of contact and really resonate our whole system from head to toe. So... Finally, the way you would execute this exercise is as, as such. You acknowledge that there are those five points of contact. And one by one, you play the chord and notice the resonance that's felt at each of those points. Now, to illustrate this, I'd say a good thing to do is play the chord at a steady tempo, kind of like that. So that's not going to change. My first objective, can I feel that resonating in my left hand? Yeah, there it is. Next up, can I feel it in my left hand and my chest? Yeah. Next, can I feel it in the left hand, the chest, and my leg? Can I feel it in the left hand, the chest, the leg, and the right arm? Yeah. So what knocks me out is that over the course of that exercise, and hopefully this is coming through in the speaker, is that the sound got bigger. It didn't necessarily get louder, but there was a depth to it and, a, and kind of a broadening that occurred. What this tells me, and this is what Debbie was teaching me, was that this is a resonant being, or a resonant cavity, the guitar is, and that you are also a resonant being, a resonant cavity. So when you combine the two together, you do really kind of uh, offer a greater bloom to the sound, and that can be perceived as being louder, bigger, you know, all, all of those things that we're working for. Uh, conversely, if we don't have a sense that our bodies are resonating with the guitar, 
the act of making a sound has everything to do with, in a way, numbing ourselves so that we can only feel, or the push, you know, every, the, only feel the energy we're putting into the guitar. Um, I, I think this is a wonderful way to recalibrate um, with the instrument and let us kind of calm down our nervous system, get a bigger sound, and frankly, and most importantly, just enjoy the beauty of an acoustic guitar. So I hope that helps, and uh, it sure is fun to practice, and it's something I do constantly. So take care, everybody, and see you next time. Bye.